Hey everyone, it's Brianna for Triumphant Tuesdays. I realize that today's Thursday, but I'm a little late. I was really sick a couple days ago, so I couldn't film on my right day, but I still wanted to film. And today's topic is giving yourself a break, but before I get into that, I want to say that I haven't really been honest in my videos because I've edited them a lot and they've all been really scripted and it's been really stressful, so I'm really going to try to tone down my perfectionistic nature and not edit this video and see how it comes out. Because I mean, I really do want to film and I know that the We Are Freedom Fighter Ladies picked me for a certain reason and my first video wasn't edited. so. I'm just going to try and not edit this one and just talk. And um, like I said, the topic is giving yourself a break. And we were talking about in the summertime how sometimes it's unstructured and we don't, we have to take a break from something. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about how to handle that and about giving yourself a break. I actually have to give myself a break from something. Like right now, I have ADD and I was taking a medicine that caused me to have a medical problem, but I was doing it for other people, so I'm trying to give myself a break and realize that we don't have to be perfect, and I'm going to try not to edit this video because it doesn't really have to be perfect either, but um, one of the questions was like, if you didn't feel like you deserved a break, like how to, how to get over that, like with your eating disorder? I honestly never felt like I didn't deserve a break, but... I'm going to talk about like vacation over the summer. I wanted to go to Disney World with like my friend several years ago, but um, I was worried because of the unstructured time that I would relapse and not do well. And um, I knew if I didn't go somewhere with anyone that I wouldn't do well, that just like sitting around at home like wouldn't help me. And so I told someone, like I told my friend, I was like, hey, like this is what's up. Like, this is my meal plan, and this is what I have to eat. Like, do you help me make sure I do it? Like, and this is the same friend I've talked about in other videos. And she did, and we made it work. But um, that's my first suggestion. If you go on vacation and take a quote-unquote break, like, you should definitely tell someone what's going on so they can best support you. Because I know sometimes eating disorders get triggered when you're not in your normal environment. <laughs> so... That's what I did, and it really helped me. And um, I feel like taking a break kind of has a negative connotation to it, and it really shouldn't. Like, if you were to go on vacation or something, like, you're not really, quote-unquote, taking a break. You're just going to experience something different. Life has so much to offer, and sometimes if we, you know, stop and do something else other than our jobs or our schoolwork or whatever we normally do, we get the chance to experience other things. And so that's kind of the way I think about it. And um, like I said, it definitely helps to tell someone that what you need when you take a break. And I definitely suggest structuring your time and things like that. Like, I mean, it's okay to have like a couple hours that you don't have a plan. But if you're relatively new to like recovery, I don't think just having no plans at all is very helpful. At least it wasn't for me. Like, it was always helpful for me to like schedule what I was going to do when I was on vacation or something like that and schedule my meals and obviously tell somebody like I already said. Um, taking a break doesn't have to have a negative connotation. You can just take one because you want to or take one because you need to. Like I said, I'm taking one now and doing things a lot differently. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Just try to... Try to think of your friends when you're thinking about this. Like, would you want your friend not to take a break? And um, I was talking to the We Are Freedom Fighter girls, and I was like, I feel bad for not filming. And um, they told me that it was okay. And even though I've told other girls that it was okay not to film, sometimes like I needed that affirmation that it's okay not to film. <laughs> so I waited a while. But like, if you wouldn't tell your friend to do something and you're stressing out over something, maybe you shouldn't do it either. And just always treat yourself the way that you would treat your friends. And um, try to think of taking a break as getting a chance to experience something different. And hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye.